Today we're going to be looking at a crowdfunding campaign called Fantastic Plants and Rocks, Volume 2 by Print Your Monsters. I'm going to call this video The Calm Before the Storm. Remember that video where I printed 141 minis in a single weekend? Just keep that in mind. So My Mini Factory, who is the sponsor of this video by the way, has essentially created their own version of a crowdfunding service that is specifically designed for 3D model makers in the tabletop community. The idea is that it will take less money from the 3D model makers and be able to get the SDL files to backers much more quickly than sites that aren't designed around that. So one of the first projects that they're doing is this Fantastic Plants and Rocks Volume 2, and it has a lot of models in it and a lot of different ways to get those models. There there are three pledge tiers. The first one gives you the core pack and all stretch goals. The second one gives you all stretch goals and add-on packs, which include a ton of crazy monsters that are exclusive to this campaign. And the third tier gives you all of that, plus all of the stuff from their original very successful Kickstarter, which equals 503 STL files. Did I mention that there are a lot of files in this? But that doesn't mean anything if the models are crap or low quality, so let's test a few of them. I'm going to be printing using standard Elegoo Mars photopolymer resin on an Elegoo Mars Pro, the settings for which I will put up on screen now. So I'm a tabletop DIY YouTuber, so these things have to actually be worth my time for them to be printed because I can make terrain pretty easily. One thing that I was worried about is these models being made small and scaled up because that generally looks bad. However, when printing these, you'll see I'm only able to get a few per build tray because they're actually made big, and if you want them smaller, you scale them down. By the way, I'm back in Texas, so I'm using an HEB tub, baby. I'm going to fill that tub with isopropyl alcohol to clean off the resin prints. All of their prints come pre-supported, which is a huge bonus for me. Having to support them takes forever, and so coming pre-supported is awesome. And huge props to whoever does their pre-supports because these are some of the easiest support removals I've ever had to do. I had to do literally zero cleanup on on these things. And huge prop to Cubby at Twitter for recommending this new UV light for curing resin in, because mine broke in the move and I'm very excited to try this one out for both this and UV resin on dice. I'm just going to set it and forget it. After they sit in my curing chamber for a few minutes, I printed a few more and I have eight prints from a couple different lines of this crowdfunding project. I wanted to get a good range to be able to see quality wise, and I gotta say, these are actually really, really good. I had to be convinced that terrain was worth printing in the first place, and these are all things that would be very difficult to hand make out of foam or clay. So this is exactly the type of terrain that I'd be looking for to be printed, so I really like these. Each of the models actually has five different versions, so you can make a bunch of different scatter terrain on theme or just have options, and I think that they look great painted. I am a lesser man who uses contrast paints, but as a result I was able to paint all eight of these in an hour, and I think that they look awesome and are definitely tabletop ready. The reason I point out that they look awesome painted is there's enough detail for you to actually see highlights and lowlights on these things. They're not just kind of surface level terrain. There's actually solid detail in all these. You're able to get both highs and lows in this mushroom even. And they all come with bases that you can just add things onto instead of being a pumpkin that I now need to also make a base on. So it prints out ready to go as far as scatter terrain is concerned. I may add a few tufts of grass or some extra paint to the base to kind of make it stand out, but really they come ready to go. Looking at the models, they even put details where you typically wouldn't see or care about the models under them because you know from top down, you're not gonna see it at all, which I think is really nice. Nice. Like the coconuts on this pirate palm tree here, I didn't need to add that. Nobody's going to see that, but it's a nice detail and it shows that the modelers actually care about the models that they're creating. So the quality of this is absolutely fantastic. And as far as value, get out of here. You're getting so many variations. It is totally bang for your buck. This is a great crowdfunding campaign. There's also a ton of discounts if you sign up early for this one. And they gave my subscribers a 5% discount if you use this code whenever you check out. So hey, there you go. Now, remember when I called this video the calm before the storm? Let's talk about that and why I called it that. Remember with me, if you will, back at the beginning of the video when I mentioned the 141 minis that I printed in 72 hours? Well, everybody on that video commented saying, haha, try and paint them all in 72 hours, nerd. Challenge accepted. I asked my mini factory if they would send me this campaign printed and ready to go, and I will try and paint as many of these as I can in 24 hours. 
I don't know if they're going to send me 100 minis from the base level campaign. I don't know if they're going to send me 500 minis from the entire campaign. Either way, I'm going to try and paint as many of them as I can in 24 hours instead of 72 hours because I'm all about up in that ante, baby. So subscribe and stick around for next month when that video comes out. And I am not looking forward to my inevitable carpal tunnel syndrome. I hope you enjoyed this look into the Fantastic Plants and Rocks campaign. Of course, links to everything are going to be in the description down below and we're going to take a further look next month when I start the challenge. Thank you so much for watching. To all of you, I wish a fantastic day and to all of those who challenged me to do the next painting thing, game on.